An effective person is one who gets things done in time. Effectiveness is a skill entrepreneurs must have because they really have a lot of tasks to accomplish in usually limited time. It is not a skill or practice you can do to display a certain image, attitude or personality of an effective person. It is rather a character. It is more of who you are. Ralph Wardo Emerson said, What you are shouts so loudly in my ears that I cannot see what you say. And what makes you you is what you do whether there are people or in private. It's the habits we have that later become who we actually are. And if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you need to develop habits that will help you work effectively with other people to achieve more than you could do on your own. Welcome to Nurtured by Books, a community where young entrepreneurs find ideas from books that make businesses successful. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on insightful content like this. In this video, we are looking at Lessons from 7 Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Number 1. No man is an island. There are three types of people in the world. Those who are dependent, those who are independent, and those who are interdependent. Dependent people believe that someone has to take care of them. They blame other people for all their results. Independence is a paradigm of I. They believe that they can go through life by themselves. They are self-reliant. Interdependence is the paradigm of we. We can do it. We can cooperate. We can combine our talents and abilities and create something greater together. For example, if you are emotionally dependent, your sense of worth and security would come from other people's opinion about you. If someone didn't like them, it could be devastating. Intellectual dependent people count on others to do the thinking for them, to think through the issues and problems in their lives. In comparison, independent people are more mature than dependent people. Emotionally, they are validated from within. They are inner directed. Their sense of worth would not be a function of being liked or treated well. However, interdependence is far more mature and effective. Interdependent people know that they are self-reliant and capable, but also realize that two people working together can accomplish far more than one could accomplish alone, even at their best. They have the opportunity to share themselves deeply, meaningfully with others and have access to the vast resources and potential of other human beings. Number 2. Be proactive. There are two types of people, the reactive, who wait for life to happen to them, and the proactive, who make things happen. The choice is yours, whom do you want to be? If you're reactive, you let your habits and conditioning dictate how you respond to the people and circumstances around you. If you are proactive, you decide how you respond to create the results you want. According to Stephen Covey, between stimulus and action, there is freedom to choose. Therefore, you are responsible for your life. Your behavior is a product of your choices, not your circumstances. Number 3. Begin with the end in mind. Like constructing a building starts with a blueprint, all things in life are created twice. There is a mental creation and a physical creation. Visualize the person you want to be, what you want from life, and then reverse engineer the process of achieving it. To achieve the life you want, create a personal mission statement to identify the big picture the life you want to lead, the character traits you want to embody, the impact you want to have on those around you. This document serves as a reminder of your ultimate goals. Break down the goal to actionable steps you can take every day to make the dream a reality. Number 4. Put first things first. Zig Ziglar, an American entrepreneur and author, once said, Lack of direction, not lack of time, is the problem. We all have 24 hour days. You can never manage your time. You can only manage your priorities. To effectively manage your time and improve your life, you must develop a sense of what's truly important to you, what aligns with your personal mission statement, and prioritize time for those tasks. Say no to tasks that make you busy but don't have a real impact on your life. 
Warren Buffett, the billionaire CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, said, You've got to keep control of your time, and you can't unless you say no. You can't let people set your agenda in life. Things that matter most must never be at the mercy of the things which don't matter. Number 5. Think win-win. From childhood, many people are conditioned to a win-lose mentality by school examinations, by parents who encourage competition between them as a form of motivation. This is good, but it results in a scarcity mentality in the long run. People end up thinking that for one to win, there should be another one losing, which creates an unhealthy competition. An interdependent person, one who works effectively with other people to achieve more than they could on their own, approaches conflicts and negotiations with a win-win paradigm. This mindset aims to find a mutually beneficial solution, where everyone is happy with the decision. It prioritizes cooperation over competition. It is the mindset of abundance of money, success and happiness. Number 6. Seek to understand before being understood. Most people listen with the intent of replying, not to understand. First work in understanding the other person's perspective, and only then can you help them to understand your perspective. Remember, you can win more people to your way of thinking by being genuinely interested in what they have to say, than you will be by trying to be interesting. Number 7. Practice self-renewal to keep yourself sharp. Sharpening the saw means preserving and enhancing the greatest asset you have, you. You're the instrument of your life and performance and taking care of yourself physically, spiritually, mentally and emotionally makes you most effective at creating positive change. Take care of your body by taking a morning walk every single day. You can take care of your spirit by meditating for 30 minutes every morning. Read a book once in a while, it's a good way of taking care of your mind. Get new ideas from books written by people who achieved what you dream to achieve. And Nurture by Books is there to provide you with ideas from these books in a short time for free. You will be surprised how much knowledge you will get there by reading just one book a month. Try out a new recipe, try taking a road you have never taken, tap into the world of new possibilities. It will help you gain your creativity and problem solving skills, on top of making you even smarter. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you have found this one valuable, give it a thumbs up and share it with people you think it may help. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on interesting content like this. Turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload a new video. Check on your screen, we have handpicked two more videos for you to enjoy next. See you in the next video.